I'll start by clicking on add and you can see you can do several things here I'm going to add my data by clicking here and I will use a file named vehicle failure data .csv on my desktop click choose so once it is uploaded uh, it also gives some feedback in terms of quality level it gives a score of 65 out of 100 this is based on whether the data contains variables that are skewed or it consists of some outliers so it gives an idea about quality of the data I'm going to use assemble monitor and share insights in dashboards and stories so I'll click on this and choose this vehicle failure data file so I'm going to use dashboard they also have option for story now within dashboard you have option for a single page or tabbed pages and so on for this example I'm going to use single page probably I'll go for this one which can contain four charts by double clicking I come to this screen I'm going to add a chart here by clicking this option so let's start by using a heat map so for the heat map uh, I can choose to go by states at level 1 and we can also use states for the size like number of states in a way will indicate number of vehicle failures so you can see maximum number of vehicle failures are in Texas followed by California and then Florida and so on so I'm going to make use of a geographic plot or a map by clicking this option so I'm going to use state for the regions let's use labor hours for the region heat this geographic plot shows the total or the sum of labor hours by clicking here you can change the way you want your input to be so let's go for average labor hours so instantly the graph changes to average labor hours so for example in Texas it took on an average 3.7 hours to do the repair in California it took about 3.3 hours to do similar type of repairs and so on so we'll go with this and select this so let's go to the next third one and I'm going to do a scatter plot on the x-axis let's use LH which is labor hours and y-axis is labor cost so as labor hour increases labor cost also increases you can see from this picture and there seems to be a linear pattern so there's a positive relation between labor hours versus labor cost so for the next one let's choose a bar plot on x-axis I want to have let's say states and let's say we want material cost to be the value so you can see that uh, Texas has the highest material cost followed by California and then Florida and this is probably because there are more cars sold in those states now we have four charts and to save this we can click here and we have some options here we can either email this or share with people in the social media or just download this on the computer and for download also you have three options I'll go with PowerPoint and say download so once it is downloaded we can open this and you can see that it has created PowerPoint file and on the second page you have a dashboard that was created obviously you can resize if you want to make it smaller or bigger and put a title etc